Nitric Oxide Part 2. Welcome to the second of three lectures on the biology of nitric oxide. My name is Joseph Giacalone. I'm a research scientist at Genesis Nutritional Labs, and I will be your host for these lectures. In this illustration, we have an uncoupled reaction. If you recall, in the last lecture, we showed an example of a coupled reaction that produced nitric oxide in proper amounts. In addition to L-citrulline, another amino acid, which we will cover later. In an uncoupled reaction, the two halves of the enzyme are joined around the NADPH and oxygen molecules, but the BH4 and LA concentrations, for the sake of this illustration, are at half strength. Because the enzyme is only partially joined, electrons cannot transfer between the two parts of the enzyme smoothly, as they could in the coupled reaction, and cannot create nitric oxide in proper amounts. Instead, a smaller amount of nitric oxide is created and oxygen-free radicals that can cause damage in the body are produced. The production of nitric oxide and oxygen-free radicals together create an especially dangerous situation because these two molecules will combine to form a nasty entity called peroxynitrite. Peroxynitrite is an extremely dangerous free radical. It can cause further uncoupling of, of NOS function, constriction of blood vessels, further destruction of nitric oxide, damage to DNA, and damage to proteins in the body by a process called cross-linking. Cross-linking is the process of connecting amino acids in a long line of proteins to other amino acids that were not supposed to be connected. This connection alters the shape of the protein and results in its malfunction or destruction. Because of the damaging effects of uncoupled reactions in the NOS enzyme, we want to make sure that these can be prevented. So it is important to know why uncoupled reactions occur. Causes of uncoupling are varied, but some of the most obvious include too much or too little L-arginine, too little oxygen in the system, an aerobic environment such as intense exercise or decreased oxygen tension in the environment can cause oxygen levels in the body to decrease. Too little BH4, general oxidative stress. This condition can be caused as a result of certain diseases, intense stress, or intense exercise, high blood glucose levels, inactivity, and smoking. One of the main causes of uncoupling is too much or too little L-arginine. Let's say that you wanted to increase your nitric oxide levels by supplementing your diet with L-arginine. When you have a higher than normal amount of L-arginine in your body, it won't actually follow the normal pathway to create nitric oxide. Rather, it follows a different pathway, the arginase pathway. Arginase is an enzyme that converts L-arginine into products like polyamines, which are not involved in nitric oxide production at all. This causes several problems. The main problem is when you supplement with L-arginine, the production of nitric oxide actually decreases. This is an interesting relationship. Free L-arginine goes into two pools. The first pool is well where L-arginine taken orally is deposited. The second pool contains L-arginine that is freely converted to L-citrulline in the body. But this pool is not affected by supplementation. Increased supplementation of L-arginine is simply funneled into the arginase pathway, leading to decreased nitric oxide production. By taking large doses of L-arginine in an effort to increase nitric oxide production, you'll actually increase the flux through the arginase pathway. The effect of arginase on NOS activity is dramatic. An increase in arginase will have a negative biofeedback on NOS enzyme. This means that it will actually cause the destruction or malfunction of the nitric oxide synthase enzyme. Naturally, when the NOS enzyme is destroyed or functioning incorrectly, nitric oxide gas cannot be produced and there is an increase in the production of destructive oxygen free radicals. As discussed on the previous slide, uncoupled reactions are associated with increased oxidative stress, which can be caused by the following diseases, hypertension or high blood pressure, atherosclerosis, hypercholesterolemia 
which is high blood cholesterol or fatty acids in the blood, stroke, diabetes, and cancer. Our circulation and nitric oxide solution, TriFlow, which I will discuss further in the third and final section of these lectures, helps to reduce uncoupling. Thank you for joining us for this, the second discussion about the science behind nitric oxide and its role in your body. Please continue with part three of this discussion for more information.